Hey y'all, it's uh, me and shakes his fist at iOS. <laughs> <laughs> Not to be confused with box of the fist from Hands of the Wolves, you know? <laughs> or what was it? No, she was I, bet you, I bet you couldn't wait to say that. <laughs> no, I, I, it actually just came to me off the top of my head. <laughs> You're a mad person, but you go on such rants. About, you made me look tame when you rant about iOS. You just... <laughs> yeah. I guess that's... Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely Mac. I'm Mac that iOS has just got under my skin. It just, it, yeah. it's, and, it, and, and I guess what bothers me is that Apple pundits forget. I think that's what it, is, what it culminates to. Is that I find a lot of hypocrisy now. Now that Apple's number one and got all this stuff, and it's like right back in your face kind of thing. And, and I've always tried to subscribe to being the better man, saying, you know, it's facts are facts. It doesn't matter if Windows threw crap in your face or whatever. Uh, you battled back back then with facts. And you should, you know, you should stick to it today rather than snubbing your nose or looking at everything through apple-colored lenses and see, I told you so kind of attitude and all that sort of stuff. So. Because it will come back, it will come back to haunt them again. And then what is going to happen? So. No, no, it, well, it's like, and, and honestly, that's kind of a microcosm in and of itself. Uh, you know, because like iOS is is like it, 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 iOS is like the reflection of the modern Apple as opposed to the old school Apple and it's yeah that's just it's it's weirdness there so. uh, uh, which one of these do you want to start with you want to start with the uh, Apple it's like uh, the, the title is based on this first one you know it's like I, I, I still can't believe that Apple is still pursuing this uh, you know, for the App Store yeah it's, well they, they the trademark office did give it to them you know, yeah, it, it, it's. But didn't it seem that the judges, uh, the court system, see, I don't know about this, because there's all these these infringement battles going on, and I asked her, I said, look, it looks it looks to me as a programmer that the patent office, trademarks and copyrights, are given too freely, and that the screening process, it seems like that there's not enough technical savvy approvers in the department and that there should be better screening and my mother was saying well a lot of that burden is up to the uh, is up to the lawyer or, you know a legal team that's hired to uh, create the trademark copyright or patent and, and see in my opinion that's an obvious conflict of interest because you're being hired to get a favorable result but yet you're supposed to be the one doing the due diligence to say no right. this really shouldn't be patented or trademarked <laughs> right, but it doesn't stop. I mean, even though a, a lawyer will fight and say maybe submit it, a trademark is a pending status. We, let's not forget that. It's only when it becomes registered that it's it's really bulletproof. Um, and patents, it, it, the, the government lets the arguments take place in the courts. So it's actually cheaper from the uh, from the government's perspective than saying. You're gonna, we're going to save you a lots of money by saying, fine, if you meet a minimum threshold and you have sufficiently explained your technology name, what have you, fine, you'll, you'll get granted that. Now, if it's going to get challenged, we're not going to be the mediator. We're, we're not going to be the people that s sit here and, and go through that. I mean, because in, in essence, you would never get an approval, is what my mother was talking about. But the time to take... Uh, on anything, this would simply it just wouldn't, wouldn't happen, and so what happens is they go to the court, and people can say, "Well, that costs a lot." I, I don't know. I think it may be that they settle up for anything most of the time. Bet something just happened to your video. What happened? Like I can't see it. Huh. Oh, well, is, it, is it back on now? I have well, I, I have a black screen. Okay. So let me try again. Oh, oh, wait, wait, it says loading now. Okay. Well, Did said, you get my audio? I'm getting your audio, but you're just black. Interesting. Oh there. Thank you, Skype. <laughs> yeah, because I Skype is showing me. I mean, I, I mean, in my own Skype window, I see myself there. 
Yeah, I'm seeing nothing but. Uh, not, I'm just seeing black. Okay. Uh. uh call back? Or yeah, what? hang up and call back. It's the only thing I know to try. Is there a video? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's bad. Um, oh boy. Like, did a light go out or something? <laughs> I, I, I can see myself right here. I mean, Skype is showing a video, to me at least. It's, uh... I don't know. That's weird. I'll try again. Hold on. Very bad, Skype. It's like, pardon our technical difficulties. It's like, it's strange, man. It's, no, like, I, I agree with that. Nothing. It's like, honestly, I, I agree with you. The courts should be the strongest. The problem is, the courts aren't cheap. Really, the thing that yeah, needs but I to think go they're cheaper than a process would be to actually have a foolproof process for approval of a trademark, copyright, or patent. I think it is actually cheaper, you know, versus uh, beefing up. The, the trademark patent office. No, no, no. I don't think you should beef up the trademark patent office. I think you should do court. You should do a court reform. You should streamline the process to get the get it before a judge. You know, for things. Oh, like, what? Doesn't that, that happen most of the time? I mean, do these people really go to trial? I think really. A, they a, a, they, they tend to get settled, from my understanding, because somebody runs out of money. Not necessarily, <laughs> not necessarily having anything whatsoever to do with is anything's right or wrong or anything to do with the law or morality or ethics. Somebody's bank account runs dry and they settle so they don't have to file for bankruptcy. <laughs> uh, if there's that much vagueness with in that, it would lead to a battle that that, that it's that long. That would tell me that. There, it truly is not as clear cut as uh, the person who went for the copyright or patent wanted it to be, and it, it cost it cost them. They ran out if they wanted to run out the money. It cost them their. I think that they probably knew going into it. Uh, I, I don't buy all this innocence kind of thing. I well, and and, and I don't think people. Apple. Given the things that are going on here. I don't think Apple's going to keep this provisional trademark because you you already have the judge on the Amazon case going. It's unlikely that you're going to win Apple, so no, we're not stopping Amazon from using it. You know, you're welcome to pursue it. We can't stop you from it, but it, based on what we're seeing, you're not going to win. Um, yeah, yeah, MS has filed against Apple probably because they want a Microsoft App Store, so they're kind of trying to hit Amazon. And on top of that. Uh, Apple attacked this little, um, they've been attacking mom and pop companies left and right, most of which because they don't have the money to fight Apple have said fine we won't be App Store anymore. Like one of them is holding a contest to go, well since we can't use App Store because the big bad Apple came in here and told us we can't use App Store for selling our applications in a store, uh, they are having a contest for whichever one of their customers can come up with the new best name because it's, they don't have the money to hire the lawyers to go, to go through the courts. Uh, and then there's this other um, arguably small company, but the difference in this case with uh, Gitjar uh, is a, they've been using App Store since 2005, which means they predate Apple's App Store. 
and they recently got an influx of $25 million in investor capital. So they have money in the bank to go, let's play Apple. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah. You know, and this, <laughs> this reminds me, because we're going to move into this HTC article. There, a lot of this is reminding me of um, Apple post directly post jobs. And remember the lawsuits against Microsoft? Yeah, when Scully was because paranoid. They knew, and... they knew Apple was still number one at that time, but they were losing rapidly to DOS. And then the you know, and then the legal salvo started going. And isn't it ironic that Apple's still number one here in the mobile market, but losing rapidly market share to Android? Still making money, just like well, the one back then. And, and honestly, the I, I, I agree they hit the with you. They years in, the, in the, uh, what, 88 and 89, so they were still growing, but they still saw long term a very serious, serious threat. Well, and I think and that's it, part of what all these patent suits and trying to trademark app store and saying nobody else can have an app store. And they're trying to prop up what they see as a possible sinking ship. They're like, we have to prop it up. We have to, we have to titanify it. <laughs> I think I hope this will, uh, will sink. Apple's not going to sink in the manner of, they, of the mistake. I don't think they're going to make the mistakes that brought them to uh, losing all the capital they did in the mid '90s. No, I, I, I think that they will lose a severe amount of market share. Yeah. But they're, they're still going to make money, and they're just not going to be. Uh, king of the hill, which is fine. You know, you don't always have to be king of the hill. Well, but uh, see, but that, see, you say that, but some of the key things to Apple's profit share are presuming that they can dictate things as king of the hill. Uh, like some of the, like some, some some of the things they're wanting to do with their marketplace. So it's their marketplace; they can do whatever the hell they want. But uh, some of the things they're demanding to play nicely in that ballpark. You know, make the presumption that well, if you're if you're not working with Apple, you can't sell your product, and if they lose too much market share, that isn't their shape of the ecosystem. The shape yeah. of the ecosystem is we don't have to do business with you, Apple. <laughs> yeah, it, the, the thing of it is, that I know, and because I argue very much in the same fashion of saying, look, OS X is successful for as much as Apple, at the old school Apple, while it had its walled garden, right? I, and the old wall garden had far more flowers, and it was pleasant. It was much more pleasant than today's, in, in my opinion. But that wall garden philosophy, I would admit, as an Apple user, is not going to produce the market share that the ideology of Windows. The and likewise, iOS versus Android. Apple is or, or even iOS versus WebOS. I mean, it's well, yeah. If WebOS starts licensing out, which they said they want to do, <laughs> right? Licensing out. By sheer mathematics, uh, gets you in your demographics a much farther reach than you possibly could many times uh, on your own. It doesn't happen for everything, but for the mo for majority of, of things that we've observed and using empirical evidence and technology, that has been a true uh, a true statement. So. While the bottom line is to make money, I still think that Apple will make money. And of course, if you lose market share to, to a, a competitor, while your profits may be still the same margin per product sold, of course, the volume of that profit... But, but you're giving up an overwhelming amount of secondary profits. I mean, let, let, let's face it, um, you know, a little... A little uh, you know, it, not that long ago, it was figured out that Apple actually loses a little bit of money on every subsidized iPhone that's sold. I guarantee you, as things stand at this second, because they're sold for 200 bucks, 199. It's estimated they cost between 210 and 230 to make. So, I, I thought that those units, and I may be wrong on this, but I always thought that it's not the actual vendor that's losing money on it, but Verizon or AT&T, they buy them in lots. Uh, well, no, that, 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 that's the no. debate there. We don't know whether Apple's eating that or Verizon and AT&T are eating no. that. And there's people arguing both ways. It would make sense to me that, okay, Verizon can get a discount because they're, they're ordering so many damn units, or AT&T will pick your, pick your carrier, and from there, the carriers are making bank because they're already making 
a huge amount of profit. Well, no, and, and, I, and I would argue, so, even if Apple's the one losing that money, they're still making bank because of all the music, all the apps, all the... Yeah, but all so, the I, I don't know if I can agree with that. I mean, just Tim, you know, Tim Cook and the operations, you know, Apple, I don't know. I don't know if I agree with that. I mean, they're, Apple may do that as a trial type thing, but not ongoing. Like, for instance, it's costing Apple money to, to give iCloud for free for for the for I, I still predict it'll follow iTools where it's a two or three year period that it's free and then they start charging um, that that they're wanting to, I think that the, that they mobile me was to, to their eyes you know and, and it probably market wise as far as the Apple demographic goes a failure so they want to get people in used to the services and bam. Well, now we're going to make a new. You know, it's like we discussed in previous shows that they increase the amount of services and then it becomes something chargeable. And I think that they're yeah, they're taking a loss for a long term opportunity cost where it'll pay dividends. I, I need to make. call you Captain OC. You say opportunity cost. <laughs> Wait, I know it's relevant, but <laughs> I do. I do. Is, I don't know. It's my it's for my economics degree. Everything that, when we took economics, everything was on this damn opportunity cost, and it comes from. Uh, I remember when we were taking like, post-grad courses, the perfect competitions are a failure and all that sort of stuff, and why would they be a failure on economic theory is because you have to consider and calculate opportunity costs, which like, is an ex exponential variable, and so the question is, is, well, why do we even bother having businesses? And it's the simple answer is that accounting does not log opportunity costs in its books. It's, it's not something that's financial financially in a financial context quantifiable so oh yeah if you look at some of the voodoo and economics uh, it's oh, like yeah, yeah you know, I mean like I mean even basic economics well, as a supplier I think the more I can make the more I can charge I'm like you know, I don't yeah. know anybody who thinks that way but that's what economics teaches us you know yeah. it's like but I always, I always looked at after that I was so amazed at Considering variables, even though it's, I'm not quantifying it in hard dollars, it still it still has an effect because that actually, in, in terms of what we take, what we do now and sacrifice of another thing, in a large part affects our long term outcome. And uh, I, I became very amazed with that and, and and live life many times. It drives my wife crazy. A little inside information drives my wife crazy. The amount of time it takes me to do research or sit there in a grocery store reading things, or because <laughs> I try to I try to quantify and remove as much of the opportunity cost as possible to make it as. Uh, I, I have news for you. That like the theory of everything is probably oh. beyond the confines of sun. Yeah, even though there's oh, somebody who thinks yeah. that, who thinks they have the theory of everything, they have these you know spheres that rotate upon themselves, and they've they've there's like I think 18 new particles, one of which is the Higgs boson. They're like, if these exist, the graviton would be here and so on. And they're like, okay, when you get that math working out, that's just a pretty picture that doesn't necessarily even mean it's right. But good luck with that. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> but that's how I got 